Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGC SE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students in last lecture we finished question number 12 from exercise 9.4 and you know topic is the same that is graph of trigonometric function today we are going to do one more question that is question number 3 from exercise uh, sorry question number 13 from exercise 9.4 before i start question number 13 i suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time Kindly first go to my playlist. There is a folder. Name is AdMath. Watch all previous lectures of this exercise 9.4. After watching those lectures, definitely you will have good command on this topic. It means previous lectures are very beneficial for you. Okay, students. Let's start question number 13. I did some work for you because graph questions always time consuming. So let's start question number 13. Look at the screen. Part A. On the same grid, sketch the graph of y is equals to sin x and y is equals to 1 plus cos 2x for the domain from 0 to 360 degree. So we will draw both the graphs one by one so first equation is y is equals to sin x take y is equals to sin x and make the table of x and y values because sin x you know this is the simple trigonometric function it has period is 360 degrees so when you have 360 degrees period you can take 90 degree intervals like x 0 90 180 270 360 so we cannot go three, uh, beyond 360 because this is the end point of the given domain. So use your calculator to find sine 0, you will get 0. Sine 90, you will get 1. Sine 180, you will get 0. Sine 270, you will get minus 1. Sine 360 degrees, you will get 0. Now take second equation that is y is equals to 1 plus cos 2x. So, because this equation is not the simplest trigonometric function, so we must find the period of uh, this given equation. How to find the period of cos? The formula of the period of cos or sine is 360 degrees upon B. What is B? B is the coefficient uh, x, uh, x in the given trigonometric equation. <coughs> in this equation, the coefficient of x is 2 therefore the period is 360 degrees upon 2 360 divided by 2 is 360 divided by 2 is 180 degrees so cancel this 180 degrees so the period is 180 degrees you must take 45 degrees intervals because if you take 90 degrees you will have uh, small values and maybe irregular values so what does it mean regular or irregular, irregular value see the on the screen I, I, I took 0 45 90 135 180 225 273 150 so use scientific calculator write 1 plus cos 2 multiply by first value is 0 press the equal button you will get 2 then 2 into 45 1 plus cos 2 into 45 you will get 1 then 2 into 90 you will get 0 and for 135 you will get 1 for 180 you will get 2 for 225 you will get 1 for 270 degrees you will get 0 for 315 you will get 1 for 360 degrees you will get 2 <coughs> if you take other intervals like 90 degrees or 30 degrees you will uh, get the same answer but the values will be irregular and the graph uh, will not be good as 
it should be. So draw the x and y axis. This is x, this is y. So first we have to draw the graph of sin x. When sin is 0, the value is 0, we have already made the table. When sin is 90, the value is 1. When sin is 180, the value is 0. When sin is 270, the value is minus 1. And when sin is 360, the value is 0. This is the simplest graph. Join all the points without the help of a scale. This is the graph of y is equal to sin x. Now, I will use another color pencil in order to show both graphs are different. Now, use the table of y is equal to 1 plus cos 2x. So, when x is 0, the value is 2. This is the first point. <coughs> when x is 45, the value is 1. When x is 90, the value is 0. When x is 135, the value is 1. When x is 180, the value is 2. When x is 225, the value is 1. When x is 270, the value is 0. When x is 315, the value is 1. When x is 360, the value is 2. Join all the points. This is the graph of y is equals to 1 plus cos 2x and the black one is y is equals to sin x. And this is the requirement of the question 13 part A. What next? Part B. See carefully. State the number of roots of the equation sin x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x for the domain 0 to 360 degree. Very easy. The first equation is y is equal to sin x. The second equation is y is equal to 1 plus cos 2x. Compare both the equation, you will have sin x is equal to 1 plus cos 2x. What does it mean graphically? Graphically it means which points where both the curves are intersect each other. How many points? So clearly you can see there are two points. One is this and other is this. So only two roots. What is the question? See again. State the number of roots. So number of roots are two because both the graphs are cuts each other only two points. So this is part B. Number of roots are answer. 
सो होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इजी एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बट स्टिल इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस क्वेश्चन और प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन राइट इन कमेंट बॉक्स डेफिनेटली आई विल हेल्प यू दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टीन वॉट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज द लास्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टीन डोंट वरी नो प्रॉब्लम वी विल डू दिस क्वेश्चन इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर and after question number 14 exercise 9.4 will be finished and then we will start next exercise students i request all of you if you like my videos and if you are satisfying my lectures kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification <coughs> kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture